welcome to Flavors of Africa. I'm Doris Ufuebune. And as always, I'm Kevin Ufuebune. Now, it's that time of year that it's getting really, really cold I and know. freezing. It is freezing. It's like you just want to escape from this cold weather and go somewhere warm. Where do you go? We're in Canada. We're in Calgary. I know, but I was thinking of the Bahamas, you know, the palm trees. The, that's the, an idea. Yeah. I guess that's why I'm wearing this because it's freezing and since I'm dressed like this, I feel like it's so warm, you know? <laughs> yeah. But Bahamas would be a great idea. Exactly. But since we can't go there right away, we're going to bring a little bit of the Bahamas here to Flavors of Africa. Awesome. So why don't we do that? Exactly. <laughs> so for our wonderful viewers, we have a delicious dish all the way from the islands. We're going to yes, take in do. more of the beautiful Caribbean culture and it all happens right here yes. in Flavors of Africa. So stay tuned. Welcome back. So as we've already mentioned, we are taking you to the Bahamas except that it will be happening in our kitchen here for you, our wonderful viewers. That's right. And despite the freezing weather, we've had some pretty interesting world events happen. Yes, we and have. Yeah, I mean, we just reinstated uh, President Obama. Uh, yeah, Obama. congratulations <laughs> to you, Mr. President, yes. you know, for being re-elected and the First Lady wonderful wonderful job you know you've done a great job and look at the beautiful kids <laughs> those kids are so humble i guess they've taken after their parents well that's right and it, it was it was such a highlighted event of course and yes. we didn't know which side that it was going to go on I to know. either Mitt romney's I side know. or president obama and they both put up a uh, really strong campaign so it's really yeah, interesting they did to... a very good job but i guess only one person can be the first lady <laughs> and it was interesting when uh, Mr. Romney was saying that his wife could have made a good uh, <laughs> first lady. But, well, you know, I guess he went to uh, Michelle, Michelle Obama. Obama. So, so congratulations it's another, again. Another four years. A lot of, yeah. a lot of interesting events awesome. happening. Awesome, yeah, yeah. So many yeah. things. However, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and, you know, cook our... To the delicious part. <laughs> yes, exactly. I'm always looking forward to that. Exactly. So, we, we are... I guess we'll start with adding our oil. Yes. Now, of course, if you want to, we're just going to add the oil to yeah, the pan. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. About and we've already preheated the pan. Yeah. And another thing that we always talk about is substitution or alternatives. We're an African cooking show, so yes. uh, a lot of the times people ask us about the palm wine, and mm -hmm. the palm wine is such a palm it, oil. Palm, palm oil. Yes. Well, the palm wine is delicious, but we'll get yeah, palm we'll oil. get to that. We but the palm <laughs> oil, uh, a lot of people use that to to make. Uh, different dishes like their stews and things like that. Yeah. We say as an alternative, especially since we're in Canada, we can mm -hmm. use olive oil and vegetable yes. oil. We can yeah, even get away with using have. vegetable no oil. No wahala, right? No wahala, that's exactly. right. Exactly, but since we're, we've been using uh, olive oil, you know, we like it, mm -hmm. so we use it. So stay with what works for you, exactly. all right? So um, the first thing that we're going to add is the, okay, you know what? Maybe we just saute our fish that first because uh, we have the fish, so we saute the fish just for about five minutes. And we already have it seasoned, as you yes, can see. Yes, we seasoned it. You know, so we have the African spices here, and it will cook for just uh, five minutes or three minutes on each side. So that will give you about six minutes altogether. Okay. The interesting thing that I find about the Caribbean is that. Despite like centuries of them being in the North America, you know, the African descendants, yes, yes. they still maintain their culture quite a bit. Yes, they do. Sometimes you see pictures of people carrying items in I traditional know. ways. It like me so much uh, about Africa, especially the straw market. Yes. Remember when we went to the straw market, people <laughs> were weaving baskets yeah. and they were hustling, asking yeah. us to yeah. come and buy. I, like, I felt... Like I was in Africa, you yeah, know, it's very so interesting. it's the same thing. I guess wherever you found uh, black people, <laughs> they have the uh, similarities to, Af to Africa. Africa so. As well as the rest of the world. Yeah. So now I I'm also just, noticed that we're me, also put putting mm -hmm. in the African spices and that's what kind of reminded me of that connection that, yes, that's so sure maintained does. in the Caribbean dishes. Yeah, exactly. All right, so, we're so just, we just uh, saute that for... Um, Three minutes and then we turn it. Can I do oh, yeah, this yeah, one? Yeah. So it's so easy. No. Wow. <laughs> so and then we're gonna bring it out after a few minutes. And it's already browning a little yes, bit. Yes, it's browning. 
Or, you know, another way to do it is start adding our things before we add all the ingredients. By that time, our fish is cooked, we can bring it out. So, we're adding now the we're onions. adding the onion, and then we can add the garlic. Okay, you right. know, it, it takes like, the onion takes about two minutes to cook, and then the garlic. All right. And the vegetables, I see that there. Yes, it's smelling. Can you smell the aroma? <laughs> I saw some. Well, I wish our uh, viewers could, you know, snare But I hope that you do try exactly. it out. Let us know how it goes. You can always tweet us. When you make a dish, tweet us, email us, yes. like us on Facebook. Awesome. So, maybe we can take a break. When we come back, you know, we put everything together. That sounds good, and we'll put everything together for yeah. you. So, we're going to take a break. When we come back, we'll show you how uh, everything is made. Stay tuned on Flavors of Africa. So we're back on Flavors of Africa. We're making a delicious dish all the way from the Bahamas. Yeah, so we cooked our uh, fish for six minutes. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the uh, vegetables. That's so you so can start with the mushrooms. All right. And the interesting thing is you can basically add any vegetables that you want to yes. the dish. Exactly. So we just add onions, you know, five minutes to cook the mushrooms. And, and then three minutes to cook the... Um, Scallion, so you know, you keep cooking it, you cook it down, and you lower the heat because you don't want any everything to burn. So, you add the yellow peppers and the orange peppers, you know, just for color. And then we have zucchini. I love zucchini. You really do. I love zucchini. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I put it in every vegetable dish that I make. I don't know. So, we're going to cook it down with the uh, coconut milk. Once it cooks down, we add the coconut milk. Welcome back to Flavors of Africa. We're, sort We're of, cooking up a storm. We are. <laughs> We're making a nice dish inspired by the Bahamas. Yes. So we're just sauteing the vegetables. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of parsley and uh, half rosemary. Just a few to give you some nice mm -hmm. aroma. Do you smell and that? Taste too. Oh, awesome, awesome. Yeah, and the thing is you can use basically any vegetables that yeah, you like. And I'm going to add a little bit of uh, black pepper. And here we have the curry because we're gonna, you know, make it colorful just like the Bahamas. Okay, keep cooking it. And then I have the chicken bouillon, just uh, a tiny bit to give it color as well. It's gonna take a total of 15 minutes mm -hmm. to cook this. All right. What I was so, gonna say is we use chicken bouillon in African dishes as well. Yes. And just with the spices oh, yeah. again. So instead of sugar, because yeah. I don't like cook, we don't like cooking with sugar, you know, in Africa. So that's why we use that. So the next thing I'm going to add is the cornstarch. Uh, about um, a teaspoon of cornstarch. Uh, add a little bit of water to it. So that would be awesome, awesome, awesome. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah, that's perfect. So you can the almost next, eat this alone. I know. <laughs> the next ingre ingredient is uh, coconut milk. You know, this will give it uh, a <laughs> great uh, taste, right? Yeah. So that's what we're adding. So this is actually uh, canned uh, coconut milk. Yes. I usually prefer to make my own, but I've been busy, so <laughs> I wasn't able to do that. So you can actually buy a can of coconut milk and use it. Yes. So, Okay, so while this is cooking, I'm mm -hmm. just gonna bring a little bit of so water. So I will keep mixing. So to, yeah, just keep mixing it. No water. Yeah. All right, you are doing a great job. Thank you. And so once it cooks down, we add our fish to it and let it simmer a little bit, and we are ready to eat it. The best part. No wahala. Yeah. All right. Exactly. Have you been reading the news or watching the news? Uh, Lately, I try. Yeah. Did you hear about the guy that um, divorced his wife? Oh. <laughs> no, I'm gonna let you tell the yeah. story. Oh no! Well, I mean, it's a silly case. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I was listening. 
that was yeah, laughing. I thought it was He funny. divorced his wife because yes. apparently he said that she wasn't attractive enough. It was the silliest case that I had ever heard. I thought yeah. it was inappropriate. Well, he said that he married her because she was so pretty. Yeah. And then when they had a child, the child was ugly. According to him. According to him. So he divorced his wife, sued the wife. I think they paid him 120000 yeah, Which they shouldn't have. But guess so. what? The, the, the wife had a plastic uh, surgery. <laughs> so that was what happened. I, it, it's a funny child. It's a true story. It is a true story. I, I thought it was so funny. I'm like, wow. So it's, now it's you know. Silly, but what do you do when you're getting married? That's do you say to somebody, ah, oh, you're so pretty. Did you have something done or something? You know what I mean? No, the world, it's the way the world is. Today, I, thought it was, I thought it was interesting. You yeah. know, very interesting. Yeah. It's just funny. Yeah. So I've spoken about African um, spices. Peppers. Yeah. So now we have it here, you know, the real African spices. So what I did was I put it in the blender, blended it, and I added some onions and uh, a little bit of uh, um, um, tomato paste, just to give it color. And I, I only cooked it for five minutes. So you can put it in your fridge, it will last a long time. So that's what we're going to put here. Not too much, if you put too much, <laughs> I'm telling you, this thing is really spicy. So I'm just gonna put a tiny bit. I think it's depending who's over exactly. at your house. But I'm making it for our wonderful <laughs> cameraman. They love you, so we're gonna spice it up for them. Oh, I can see them laughing. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. So, so you know what? I'm gonna add a little bit of water. Perfect. Then I'll okay, keep so mixing. let it cook down. It smells delicious. It sure does. Yeah. Wow. And they have that drink that they like to drink. It has like lemon. Oh, the like, switcher? Yeah, the switcher. I know. They, you know, in the Bahamas, after each meal, they will make uh, this drink, and they call it uh, the switcher. Yeah. And it's made with water, sugar, and lemon. Yes, guys, water, sugar, and lemon. It's so sweet. Instead of that, what we're going to do today is serve it with special wine. And it's called Dobbinville, uh, Dobbinville Hills mm -hmm. Sauvignon Blanc because it's white, but it's really not white. If you look at it, you can see that it has a very pale color. And this wine, by the way, is coming to you all the way from South Africa. Yes, South Africa is known for its wine. It's true. And this is interesting. It competes with uh, other parts of the world yeah. when it comes to wine. It's really, really interesting. And it's layered with flavors. Ranging from well, I mean, it has the guava, in yeah, it. and it has gooseberry, it has lime, and it, it also has different types um, of fruits, that yeah, are just, a fig, yeah, so, uh, yeah, so many things, and it has a crisp finish. So that's why we've chosen this wine to go with our fish because but which it goes very prefer? well with. Which one? Like, do you, well, we talked about the palm wine. Yes, Nigeria yes. is known from its palm wine, or yes. do you prefer? Well, it depends. In Nigeria, they have one that they call up wine mm. and there's one that is down because <laughs> yeah because the plant uh, the palm tree uh, the wine is tapped on the ground okay. you know when the uh, palm tree is on the ground okay. and you know in Africa we have all this saying they say that's for ladies because it's really really sweet unlike the palm wine which is tapped on top of the palm tree interesting and that one is uh, is too strong but really delicious you know i just hope that one day we take our wonderful our, uh, viewers to africa so you can really taste this i'm First telling time. you it's so great you tasted it oh i did and it was awesome yep. so that's what we're going to do so Perfect. right now we can add the fish you know that's lovely yeah. Oh my goodness. Fish is a big part of African dishes too. Yes, especially in the Bahamas. You know, they eat lots of... Uh, yeah. Yeah. In, in Africa, we eat different kinds of fish, you know, dry, especially smoked. I love dry we fish, like actually. We like to smoke our fish, you know. So we just so mix you, this around. Yeah, so what we're going to do, if I can borrow this spoon yep. this time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm just going to let the fish cook with the sauce. 
Sometimes you can break the fish, you know, so you have the mm -hmm. pieces so everybody can get it back. Well, I wonder I'm if you could add shrimp that. to this. Oh, anything, because it's seafood. So if you add different kinds of, uh, like if you add uh, um, shrimps, mm -hmm. you add uh, fish, everything becomes uh, seafood medley. Exactly. You, know? you, know, you can do that. You can do that. But for this one, we just uh, add oh, mm -hmm. And I'm going to say that this dish would go very well with uh, fried noodles, rice, beans, anything you have. You can even use bread to eat it. Mm -hmm. You can even put it, uh, make it into a sandwich. So it's so versatile. Yeah. Well, America. it's interesting that you bring up the noodles because uh -huh. now a few cultures are moving into the Bahamas. Remember we saw the Chinese yes. there and they, there was a Chinese settlement there and it reminded me, reminded me of the Chinese cuisine that yes. you said we can supplement with this dish. Exactly, exactly. And uh, one thing, that, you know, since we are still talking about the Bahamas, is the fact that they involve the youth. That's you know, true. They always, you see them in the store, and the uh, grocery stores are so clean. You know, they, they call them uh, patrol bus or whatever. Yeah, patrol guards. Or... Yes, exactly. <laughs> and you see them every minute. I'm like, wow, yeah. you know, so awesome. Well, it's that they take pride in their country. They know it's a tourist attraction, exactly. and that's what makes it so... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, favorable for yes, tourists. Yes, yes, and it's so easy, and especially in the capital city, the Nassau. Nassau yeah, Nassau. Nassau is really beautiful, and they know that a lot of people visit there. Yeah. They know uh, <laughs> it's a tourist destination. Of yeah. course, they have to keep it clean. Yeah. So I truly, truly love that. But I must tell you that I love this uh, the strong market. Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah. Because you can find anything. You just keep on walking, and it reminds me yeah. about the Seluku market, the in Nigeria, market that's in Nigeria Delta when State. I was growing up in Delta State. And you can just walk in, and you find anything you know you are looking for. So that's uh, so interesting. You know, honestly. But the I, one thing, the one thing about those markets is how do you say no to people that are trying to you know, sell you things, you kind of just feel like you should take anything to offer you to steal $5. I know, that's we buying buying because this one will bring it to you and say, yeah, you no, know, this is, you know, would you like to yeah, buy this? Yeah. And you're like, okay, just uh, for a few cents. And we kept on there, really, really yeah. uh, hardworking people, you know, especially those women that we saw there. That's and, true, a lot mean, of women there. Yes, it, yeah. was, uh, it was very interesting. Yeah, it's still cooking, you know what? I'm gonna taste it, see how the sauce, you know, because you can always spice it, spice it as you go, you know. Mm, it's really good. It doesn't Perfect. need anything. It's awesome. Yeah, I can definitely see this as a side dish. Yeah, too. so what we can do right now, we can go ahead and, and put it on the, um, on our serving dish. Perfect. Would you like me to help you? I go? got it. I can. Okay. Do that. So put the fish on top. So, that so we the can vegetables say, first. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Please. That sounds good. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you try the switcher? The switcher, the switcher drink? No, I, I didn't want to try because it has so much sugar. So, <laughs> yeah. For also. some reason, African cuisine seems to stay away from sugar. Oh, I know. I know. Can, do you mind? Sure, if I, and I, I will hold the dish. No, I can, can hold okay. it. I know you've done a great job, but let me just kind of... Oh, see how awesome. That's perfect. <laughs> so... Yes. As we do it at home, I'm going to add, you know, when I was growing up, my mom would make uh, like the beans mm -hmm. and then she would add the yam. We don't have the yam, so the bread will serve. As like a substitute. Yam. Exactly. And then you can take it deep and doesn't it look yeah. appetizing? And you told me that she made the palm oil too. Oh yes, he made, she made our own palm oil. And it was so fresh, but now, when I go to the market and look at the palm oil they have, it's so different. So that's why, you know, I'm like, mm -mm. Because I used to bring palm oil back here <laughs> in those days, you know, back in the days. When you could. Yeah, yeah, when I cook. So we're gonna take a break. When we come back, you know, we toast with the wine and, uh, 
eat the finished uh, product. The best part. So. That's all happens here on Flavors of Africa. Awesome. Stay tuned. Thank you. We are back. Welcome back again to Flavors of Africa. So we have the uh, seafood uh, dish for you made with uh, lots of vegetables. And now we're going to toast with our wine and we're hoping that you can try this dish at home. If you need more information, please uh, go to our email address, which is uh, flavorsofafrica at .ca, or you can follow us on, on Twitter. Twitter. You can tweet us at flavors of underscore Africa. Yes. And make sure that you like us on Facebook. Okay, awesome. So, cheers to Flavors of Africa. To Flavors of Africa. And to you, our wonderful viewers, we and also to our wonderful camera uh, main and the director, we thank you so much. All our sponsors, all the best to you. Thank you. Stay tuned for more footage of Flavors of Africa in the Bahamas. Yes, cheers again. Celebrating 30 years of marriage. Give them a nice round of applause. 